Hey y'all, um, so I've been seeing the girlies eat the V-part wigs up and I just got one for free. Not from a company, from my sister because she was like, I don't know what to do with this so you can have it. I said, okay, but let me eat the girls up. All right, so this is the braid pattern. Not too much. I just took out a hairstyle and my scalp is kind of sore. So how many braids is this? Two, four, six, seven big braids. That's it. That's it. That's all. I saw the girlies doing the crochet method, so I'm going to do that. But the only difference is I'm going to cut out all the clips because I want as less tension as possible. So, yeah, we're going to cut the clips out and I'm going to sew it down because I'm going to actually keep this in for a little bit, I think. Okay, cutting the clips out took longer than I thought, but please take your time so you're not puncturing any holes in the lace. So, yeah, we're about to sew it down. Let's go. I forgot to mention, I also put these little straps on a really tight setting because I have a little head. Needle through the lace first so the knot can be like underneath. And then we're gonna start sewing. I don't know how I'm gonna show this. So I'm just like up under there through the lace. And then pull through this end. And that's it, that's all. A little loop. Okay, so it's also down, and I've already crocheted this part. Ah, you can't tell me this is not my hair. Let me show y'all how I did it. Okay, so I take a piece from like right here. Not at the very front, but like right here. And then I crochet it going. It's hard to see in this, but like you grab it and you crochet it going forward. Uh-huh. And then I do like a little crisscross method. And then I'm going to take one from the very front and then crochet it back through, like going towards the back. Like that. A little crisscross motion. And then you're going to just keep doing that all the way to the back. And this is the finished product. Uh oh. Mm. I like it. She cute, she cute, she cute.